Yes, we are going to blow the shofar. But before we do that, I've asked every one of you to do a prayer request. Let me read this. Okay, I'll, I'll be blowing solo today. Is that okay? All right. Amen. And uh, you don't, nobody run out yet. No kids don't go into class. Don't take off. I want everybody to hear this. Every one of you has been given a prayer request. Okay? You know, I know you say, well, this is unorthodox. No, it's not. This is with practice. Okay? Let me just read this to you and we'll get into this. In that day of gladness, in the appointed feast, let me know this is the appointed time. Amen. Say amen if you're here. Amen. And at the beginning of, the, of your months is the beginning, which is Rosh Hashanah, is the new year. Okay? You shall blow the trumpet over your burnt offerings, over your sacrifice offerings, and over your peace offerings, and they shall be a memorial for the Lord before God, for I am the Lord. So we're going to ask the ushers, amen, this evening. If you, Gabriel, Gabriel, don't be a journey. Okay. Gabriel, 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 prayer offerings to the wall of Israel. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm taking the role of, of pastor, priest, whatever you want to say. Okay? And what is charged is that the voice of God, how many want the voice of God to hear your prayers? Okay? Right now, this is the season of faith. Say with me, season of faith. We're walking in faith right now. This is the voice of God. In Israel, they put it against the wall. And all those who have blown the shofar against the prayers is God going to answer your prayer. Amen. Say amen if you're with me. Amen. So if you would stand with me, let's stand. And as we blow the shofar, amen, God will hear our cries, our prayers. But we're also going to blow it again, amen. Because why? It's Rosh Hashanah. Can I get an Amen. amen. Friends, amen, who are lost. 
prisons, jails, amen, all go in this basket. And God's voice is speaking into our hearts to let us know, amen, he's here. Amen. And he's in charge. Can I get an amen? amen? So this is a time of celebration. Amen. It's a time, amen, where the world, amen, may say all kinds of things, but we trust in the Lord this evening. Can I get an amen? amen. When we go through our spiritual battles, this is spiritual warfare. Yes, amen. And what we have here tonight, amen, is the weapons of warfare. Yes, Lord. These are the weapons of warfare. Amen. You see, there's one thing to say, I know how to use my weapons, but what others say is, I have weapons of warfare. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. We're going to learn just a few of these right now, amen. As we said, amen, as I said, I should say, amen, what did I say? Verse 5. And when you sound, it, uh, when you, when you sound the, the, the advance of the camp, amen, that lies on the east side, begin their journey. And when you sound, amen, advance the second time in the camps, amen, that lie on the south side and they still begin their journey. And they should sound the call for them to begin their journey. And then when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but not a sound to advance. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets, or the shofar, amen, and these shall be, these should be to you as an utterance forever throughout the generations. Verse 9 says, And when you go to war in your land against enemy who oppose you, then you shall sound the alarm with us with the shofar. And then you will be and, and excuse me, and you will be remembered by the Lord your God. And he will and you <clears throat> excuse me, and you will be saved from your enemies. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. And I pray this time of Rosh Hashanah, Lord God, to thank you for this congregation and those who love you, Lord God. First of all, for giving us your son and dying on the cross for our sins. Lord, whatever's in our hearts and minds, let's remove all the hindrance. Let's focus on your word tonight. Father, that your word, Lord God, brings healing, Lord God, in this new year. And we celebrate, Lord God, whatever hindrance we've had or battles that we've gone through, the wars and all types of things, Lord God. That you forgive our sins, and if we have offended one another, forgive us. Lord, as this church comes to you, Lord God, and we have made many mistakes, personal and ministry-wise, we ask for forgiveness, starting with myself. Father, let this Holy Spirit move in our lives. It will be a blessing tonight. In Jesus' name, and everybody says... Amen. You know, I hear a lot of people say, or they think, amen, I'm in the war with the devil. I'm in warfare. I'm having a fight with the devil. How many, how many can hear that? You think right now, I'm in war with the devil. Because nothing ever goes right for me. Because, amen. But this very day, amen, things we battle. There's a lot worse people in, well, bad positions right now. And we battle it even every day. This is called adjusting to God's way. Are you here today? Amen. This is called adjusting to God's will. Amen. We battle those things because what makes us feel even the devil is, well the devil's running out there. Yes, it's true. Well, he's fight, I'm fighting him. No, you're fighting your own personal will. We can say amen. amen. And so, amen, there are times, amen, when we, we're going to be in fights, but not the way we think. Most of us battle, it comes from accusation, other people within our body or outside of the body make accusations. Or, amen, it can be disgruntled people. Say, I'm disgruntled. <laughs> Yeah. We're all out that moment. I always I laugh because they say I almost fell. <laughs> or, amen, we experience people lying about you, jealousy, envy, those who say, I'm praying for you, amen, to get out of this place, this church. Hello. These are things, amen. That are out there. So the Bible teaches us to what? Blow the sound of the shofar. Amen. 
I said, blow the sound of the shofar. Can I get an amen? amen? No matter what you're going, anything close to the voice of God, you don't know what God sounds like. Amen. But this represents the voice of God. Amen. This is the voice. This is the sound. Amen. When we declare war against the enemy. Can I get an amen? amen. When we declare war, amen, because why? The end, I'm tired of running. I'm tired of being pushed around, amen. I know I go through all kinds of things in life, amen. Things are just not going my way, amen. You forget about your weapons. You forget about what God has called you to. Well, Pastor, I don't have it so far. Neither did I. Can I get an amen? amen. But one day, amen, I read my Bible, amen. One day, amen, I wanted to know what the trumpet sound would sound like. I thought, amen, I bought, you know, my son has a trumpet. He goes, beep, beep, beep. But it was a different sound, amen. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps right now, amen, because I know that the Holy Ghost, amen, wants to get a hold of our life. And we're going to turn things around this Rosh Hashanah time, brothers and sisters, amen. It's time for you to wake up, amen, repent of your heart, amen, and get some weapons of warfare in your house. Gotta get an amen. You think that these things won't work, amen? I promise you, I guarantee you, amen, it's God's word. God never lies, amen. Man can say this and that, but the word of God is true. Gotta get an amen. The word of God, amen, has power. Gotta get an amen. You know, there was a time, amen, that when Israel, amen, wanted to get their security from God or get God's attention, they had to make a sacrifice of an animal. We no longer have to do that because Jesus paid the price for us. Can I get an amen? Yes. He's the one, amen, that has got us through, amen, and, and allowed us, amen, to be where we're at. And when you hear the sound of the shofar, amen, you're in the right place, amen. And if you have, if you think, amen, you have enemies, ask yourself, who is your enemy? Who is your enemy? This is what I figured out, brothers and sisters. It's not you. It's not other churches. It's the devil. How many figured that out? Duh. How many of you have that moment in your life? Duh. You know, me and my wife counsel at times, amen, and, and people come to us and ask for advice, and you can work with people, work for you, and one day they have that epiphany. The problem's been me. That's what you call what moment? Duh. Say it with me. Duh. I don't like that. Yeah, well, that's well, duh. Can I get an amen? Amen. But who's your enemy? How are we going to fight him? You see, these are things in life that we don't know how to handle. We're used to the flesh, and we're used to things, amen, to how to do on our own. We're no different from the children of Israel, amen, but we're given, amen, the very voice of God spoke into their lives, amen, and gave them direction and understanding, amen. And that's what God is doing us today, amen. We have, amen, exactly the weapons of warfare. We have the sound of the shofar. We have an amen. This is why I blow an amen. It may be uh, unorthodox for you to understand these things. And you may not say, what is power? I've never experienced these things. Well, leave it or high, amen. But I'm telling you, man, God, when God speaks into your life, amen, and says, I want you not just to teshuva, not just to change. I want, I'm not trying to change doctrine, but I'm trying to change, amen, the understanding, amen, because people got it all wrong. When people got it all wrong, they make it about themselves, they make it about religion, amen. And if we want to learn how to battle, we want to learn how to fight, amen. First of all, you got to have some shalom. Can I get an amen? amen? You know what that is? Peace. When you got peace of God, amen, these things are not going to hurt you. He's not going to leave you for, for faith. What God does is that He remembers. God remembers the time, their struggle. You feel like I can't, I, I just like the nation, like people, but the Bible teaches you and I, he says this, amen, and when you go to war in your land, we don't want to fight people, people want to fight us. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to fight people, people want to fight me. Amen. Are you here? Amen. Have you ever known a pastor, somebody in your entire life, I, you know what? And I told my wife, you know what, this is, I, I'm ripping what I'm sowing, brothers and sisters. I couldn't stand certain pastors in Los Angeles, they may not call them all kinds of names. Come on, what right now? You think you're all that? Let's do this. 
guess what's happening to me now? <laughs> so God has a great sense of humor, don't you think that? So remember, Joe, you used to do that to the, to the man of God over there. They deserved it. I love people. Are you here today? But God remembers. God remembers your time of your need. You may not feel like it. Look at your circumstances. This is a year. I challenge you, amen. Put your prayers in there. What? Come on, you didn't have that moment going. Come on, you know, like like uh, Scooby. What did you say? What did Bowser just say? Rory? Rory about that? Can I get an amen? But you, you came by faith. This right now, as this Shemitah year ends, this is the Jubilee year, or so, or, or the seven year, I'm not going to say Jubilee, amen? But this is what, in Israel, this is called the year of faith. The year of faith, meaning, amen, that you're not supposed to toil the land, you're not supposed to work. And I started praying, and, I, and, I, and I'm reading and studying, because why? Faith, amen, that God is going to provide for you. Faith, amen, that in that situation, God is going to move in, in your life today. If God says, you know what, brother, I want you to trust in me and stop going to the streets and trust in me that people are going to come, amen, and they're going to show up, amen, I'm going to have faith in that. Can I get an amen? And if I have faith, amen, to see you grow, and I have faith that you're going to hear the voice of God tonight, and then I have faith, amen, that you're going to step out tonight, oh, you're not hearing me, but I want to wake up your spirit right now. Oh, I said, I want to wake up your spirit right now because you need to be revived right now. You need to understand the power of God because He remembers all things, amen. Oh, this is like a fire that shut up in my bones tonight. Man, you need some prayer. God, Pastor, I need some prayer, amen. When the Holy Ghost falls, amen, He's going to remember you. He's going to challenge you in. And I want to pray with you tonight because God is going to meet that need, amen. Oh, he wants to breathe on us. He wants to touch us, amen. Because why? He remembers. He knows exactly what is going on in your life, amen. He understands, amen. He knows because we've been here before. We know what deliverance is. We, 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 we experience deliverance. We have weapons of warfare. We understand when God says He will remember, He will remember. Amen. We never take a fight or a battle on our own. Amen. I come to Jesus for you, your family. No matter what you think, you know, people want to scare us of COVID. Amen. No, let the Holy Ghost scare us COVID. Can I get an amen? Let the Holy Ghost, amen. People want to try to take things away. Don't mess with the man of God. Don't mess with the power of prayer. Don't mess with Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says he will come back on a white horse. Amen. He's not on a donkey no more, but he's on a white horse now. Can I get an amen? You'll see the fire from heaven. Amen. You better be prepared. Amen. Because if that takes place, amen, we're going to get sucked up and somebody got left behind. Can I get an amen? He remembers all things. He remembers, amen, exactly. He keeps his promises. If we're doing the work and doing this, all this, amen, your king will remember. Oh God, pray for us, Father. Pray for our loved ones. We pray because right now you're here to pray for somebody. Now you're right. You're getting it right. Say it with me. I'm getting it right. Okay, there you go. I'm getting it right. Now you're praying for somebody who needs to get it right. Amen. But if you stop praying, you're giving it to the enemy. If you stop giving, you're giving it to the enemy. If you stop, amen, doing the works of God, like outreach or telling somebody about Jesus, you're giving it to the enemy. If you stay at home, amen, you have lost the battle. If you there, amen, and no prayer and no life, amen, you're getting sucked up, amen. Forget about using dope, amen. You're going to lose spiritual weight, amen. You're going to be dull and insensitive to God. You need to wake up today. Can I get an amen? Oh, you hear the sound of the shofar? Do you hear God speaking into your life? Do you hear what God is trying to say to us? Because I do. Can I get an amen? Amen. The Bible says in Acts chapter 10, he made Cornelius with a centurion, amen, who was called, amen, to the regiment, amen, and a devout, a 
devout man who feared God, all his household. And what did he do? He prayed to God, amen, always. And he helped people. Amen. He gave more. He did more. And God remembered. God held a memorial. God, it went up to God. Amen. And they, God remembered. God remembers you. He remembers your struggles. The Bible says in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 12, Remember his wonderful deeds, which he has done. He is marvelous in judgment and then, uh, uh, out, of his, out of his mouth. Psalms chapter 105 verse 42. He remembers his holy word. He remembers his holy word with who? With Abraham his servant. God, amen, will sound, we sound the sword so far and crying out, God remember us. I don't care what everybody else is doing. I care about you and the church. Amen. God, remember us. God, give us favor. God, show us the way. Amen. We need to understand the point, the way, amen, that the Lord Jesus Christ wants to go. In a time of struggle, in a time of battle, amen, it feels like we're just going uphill and up this, this muddy hill and sliding right back down. How many feel that way? Amen. Many times in battles, amen, we think it's from other people. Well, this guy said that. Who cares what he said? You know, I get it. I trip out on probation. Okay? Everybody went, yeah. Right? I've been serving the Lord here for a while, and I have a pretty good relationship with some of them. But they're ready to hear dirt on Pastor Joe like that. Are you here? They're ready to hear, and they hear something, and then they'll bring a guy in, and psh, what happened? <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Are you here? Amen. Like people, they what? Go find out. Go to the go, go Thursday night church and find out if they fell. <laughs> get spies in here. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, go see if they did this and that. I'm not saying anybody in here. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Go see how well they're doing if they're not. Huh? And they show up when the skeleton crew's here. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? And they go out. Pastor Joe's church is falling apart. Whatever. How many trust God tonight? Give me an amen. You see, your battles come from other people. Battles come from accusation and hearing stuff. Amen. Listen to Exodus 23, amen, if we remember the voice of God. This is the time, amen. How many understand the weapons of warfare? Amen. They're mighty. Amen. I said they're mighty. Amen. amen. The voice of God is mighty. Amen. I said the voice of God is mighty. Amen. And the voice of God, amen, speaks into your heart tonight, amen. He said, but only truly if you obey His what? Voice. And I say unto them, then I, then I will be, amen, against your enemies, amen, and your adversaries to your adversaries. And, you know, and we don't understand, amen, we should never speak badly of people, but we take it to God. Amen. People do it all the time, amen. We're not the only one to experience this stuff. But when you're in warfare, amen, you get wounded, you get tripped up. Can I get an amen? amen. These things happen in life, Amen. You know, we have, amen, people who want to speak, say things about, who are these people that say these things? And why do people believe them? <clears throat> you ever asked yourself? I've been questioned about things like that. Do you believe them? I'm not a chismando. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys who say, I heard. Okay? If a brother says something to me, well, brother so-and-so's falling off or something's going on. I'm going to go find out. Are hey, you okay? What's going on with you? Okay? Why? 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 <laughs> Who said? <laughs> why? Why? You get all insecure about yourself. Why? 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 <laughs> Who told you? Tell me what? No, somebody told you something. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's the devil. It's the devil. It's the devil. No, no. What are you getting all panic about? <laughs> are you here? Amen. Third party people always, you know, what do they do? It starts off fresh over here and it ends up 
Not over there. I'm here hearing me today. Because those are the... You know what Jesus brought from us? Huh? Religious people. Right? Say amen. Amen. Because why? The difference of belief. This is what we see today. In Matthew chapter 10, 35, what does he say? I have not said, I have come to set a man against his father, his daughter against his mother, his daughter-in-law against his mother-in-law. Amen. A man's enemies will be those of his own household. So when you're, when I'm not surprised when, when my children rise up against me because the Bible told me is, okay, this was going to happen. But how are you going to respond? How are you going to understand it? Amen. When they're confused and they think they know it all. Amen. Or well, I got kids in California love to tell me what to do sometimes, amen? And then all things is breaking loose, amen? Should I just call into a rock and hide? Uh-uh! Because why? I have my weapons of warfare. Say amen if you're hearing me, amen. I know how to come and cry out to God. I'll blow that so far, amen, to let God know maybe you didn't hear me this morning, but I'm blowing it again, amen? I want you to hear me tonight, God. I know what your scripture said. If man's household would rise up against them, they become their own enemy, amen. But I trust in your power. I trust in your word. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. And this blessing goes out not just for Pastor Joe, but you're covered by the blood of the Lamb. Somebody say amen tonight. Say amen tonight if you believe that. You gotta understand that, amen. This is what happens, amen. I can't take that stuff home, amen. I don't want to bring home my fears. I don't want to bring home my worries, amen. I want to leave it at the altar of God. I want to trust, amen. Because why, amen? I feel the spirit of faith coming on, and the Bible says to take a step, amen. And that it's by faith that we are saved. Can I get an amen? What we got, amen, is an enemy, amen, who wants to get in there and listen to what we have today. We have men who lost their place and surrendered, amen, to women. Hello? Is it, well, Pastor, where? Where? Where's that? <laughs> and then men get all, that's oh boy, well, whose house is that? Not mine, not my house. I'm in control. <laughs> men who surrender their amen responsibilities and allow the woman to take over amen is because they got some hidden sin in their life amen when a man just says you know what just to please you I'll do it <laughs> you don't want to hear me you're here a man, amen, is supposed to be where his place because why? There's fears. When a man fears, he's lost love for her. Hello? You're in a battle. You're in warfare. When a married man surrenders his responsibility, this is when women take over, amen, and it's the order is messed up. And a woman can get had. Women, you can have your fears all day long. <laughs> no. Some preachers might tell you different. Amen. And you can quote this people. Well, the Bible says I only have spirit of, spirit of fear. Amen. I'm supposed to be that way. But you're, the Bible teaches us all. Don't get all bitch or boy ya against me. <laughs> huh? Don't get mother hand on me. Okay? Did I say that wrong, babe? I probably did. But, anyways. <laughs> all right? But when the king puts something in order, I said when the king puts something in order, amen, for a man to take the responsibility, amen, to be in the place, amen, where he's supposed to be, you have to understand that this is the weapons of warfare. When there's confusion in your life, when there's battles in your life, amen, when we're not getting along with our wives, amen, or our, our daughters, or our mothers, or all those, amen, this is not, amen, not a time, amen, to get scared or have fears, amen, this is the time to get your weapon of warfare and blow the shofar or cry to God, amen, and ask the Lord, amen, if you're a man that has integrity, you're the man of honesty, then you should have no fear and trust more in God. Somebody has to have faith tonight. Can I get an amen? amen. This is where the Bible teaches us, amen, the simple fundamentals, amen, and this is how the king set it up, amen, how to live for him, amen. This is exactly, amen, because God didn't put a woman in charge, but he put men ahead. Amen. This is the order of God, and when we're out of that order, it brings confusion. Amen. 
Are you here? And it brings some heart problems. Are you here? When we do things the king way, we find Torah. Jesus says to you and I in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, amen. How many can see this right here? Can you guys see it pretty good? I know you guys can. <laughs> we got a great view. Can you see it? That's an authentic scroll. It's a Torah. In this scroll, I don't want to pull it out because I was like, Lord, I don't want to mess it up because well, I can drop it. You know, that's why I never held little babies. I'm going to use give me Josiah. And I'm like, no! I'm prone to drop things. Oh, just hold him. One time I dropped Josiah and, oh my gosh, oh man, he's there. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I was all padding, man. Luckily, he has a big head. <laughs> I said, man, this kid's going to be special. <laughs> but here is what the Torah is. It's the five books of Moses. Amen? I don't want to make sure I've got it upside down. And this is what they do. Do not think I have come to destroy the Torah or the prophets. Your Bible might say law. I did not come to destroy, but what? To fulfill it. For surely I say unto you, heaven and earth, uh, heaven and earth will pass away while one jot, not one gentleman, by no means from the Torah of, is fulfilled. And whoever breaks at least one of these commands teaches men so, so he will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Are you here? This is nothing that hasn't changed. So, we have our weapon, and we have our word. Yes. Say amen if you're following me. Yes. Amen. This is exactly, amen, where, where this is your weapons of warfare. Why is, you know, we challenge you, read your Bible. Yes. Uh -huh. It has the answers. Right. No, you want to bypass that and come to pastor. <laughs> oh, fix it. No, <laughs> can't fix it, amen, because it takes time with you. It takes time to get you to a place where God wants you to be. Say amen if you follow me. So what we have here, amen, is the Torah of God. Amen. And His mighty power. How many know? This is the breath that God spoke to Moses. Are you here? This is the breath. Torah is real. Are you here? So what weapons do we have? We have the voice and we have the word now. I said we have the voice amen. and we have the word. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Because we have a voice, but it's going to speak into your life. Amen. You have the, you can hear God when you hear, O oh Israel, the Lord God is one. That's the voice of God. It's the Shema. It's what we hear. It's what we understand. Him in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Say amen if you're following me today. Amen. amen. It's what it says to us. Amen. He speaks into our lives. Amen. What we learn is called Il Al Gabra. El Gabriel, excuse me, which means the mighty stand of God. Amen. This is exactly, it's in Hebrew. El is always God. And that word means, Gil, it's Gilbra. Amen. G-I-L-B-O-R. Am I saying it right? Gabriel's the one's always correcting me. Amen. Not El Gilbert either, okay? El Gilbert, all right. But it's the mighty power of God. Power is what? Oza. Say it with me. Oza. And what does Oza mean? It's insight. It's the insight of God. So what is the word of God going to give you? Insight. Say amen if you're following me today. Is this a good lesson so far? Are you hearing me? Praise God. Amen. Uh, bear with me for a second. Yeah? Because Christians, amen, always have a battle with one thing. They have battle with what? Prayer. Right? Because why? We're not consistent in your prayer. You're not consistent in your word. Amen. You can't hear the voice of God because you're not consistently praying. You're not consistently reading. Amen. You're not allowing, amen, the supernatural of God speaking to your life. Say amen if you understand so far. Amen. amen. Because consistently faithfulness will bring understanding. Amen. These are the weapons of warfare. Amen. I, amen. I don't like, amen, I like to put application into life. I don't know about you. 
Amen. Even in my house, in my prayer, I pray. I go by myself, I pray. My wife goes in her home, she prays. Amen. We encourage our kids pray. Do you pray? Did you pray? Did you pray? We're not on them like all the time. Like I am, even in the men's home, amen. Pray. Are you guys praying? How much time do you spend with God? How many times have I ever asked you guys that? Amen. All right. Okay, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Weapons of warfare. How many know in, uh, we're in New Mexico, right? Yeah. Uh, Pastor's having a moment. No, okay? <laughs> it's called a senior moment. <laughs> People have weapons in their homes. People have guns in their homes. Machetes. I have machete. Oh, and plus other toys. Amen? Rifles or whatever. You could have. How many do you have a gun at home? I'm a felon. not supposed to. Okay, whatever. Right? You tell me you're a felon. You still got one. <laughs> Los Angeles, you can never own a gun because you just can't. Amen. It's good for gang members. And but we have them? Yes, we do. Hello. And even the Hudas know. All right, pray to them. All right. So you can have insurances. How many have insurance? Renters insurance. You can have home insurance. You can have health care insurance. Car insurance. So when it hails, <laughs> get your car insurance, right? Or whatever type, we have insurances for all these things. These are insurances. Amen. The weapons we have, amen, are insurances for you, for you and I. Amen. Because we have a mighty God. Say amen if you're following amen. me. We have a mighty God. He understands. He understands what we're going through. Amen. So in the time, amen, God will help you because these things keep us safe. Yes. These things keep us safe. Yes, amen. amen. Jesus told us in John chapter 10 that he was the good shepherd. Yes. And what does he do? He keeps his sheep in the pen. Yes. I mean, follow me. Yes. He says, I am the good shepherd. And he speaks by the word. You are the sheep. And I tend to my sheep. I love my sheep. I check my sheep. I'm for my sheep. And I will die for my sheep. Say amen if you can say that. Amen. amen. All those things. And how about us? Right. Amen. We need to have. All these weapons of warfare. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, amen. The Bible says, amen, for your weapons of warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty in God. Say mighty in God. Mighty, mighty, in, God. mighty in God, amen. Because why? It's the mighty hand of God that keeps us safe, amen. Our weapons of warfare, what's your weapons of warfare? It's the word of God, it's blowing the show bar. It's all these things. Say amen if you follow me today. Amen. amen. So when you see all these things, amen, this becomes the application of your life. Every time I come in, for the last 40 days almost, amen, I, every morning I've been blowing this shofar. And when I went to California, amen, I told Jeremy, get out there and blow the shofar. Gonna get an amen. Amen. Because we cannot stop. We cannot stop doing the will of God. This is putting in work. Say amen if you're following me. Amen. amen. So it's not just a matter, amen, of doing just certain type. You have to do it all together. So if we know the weapons of warfare are, are not carnal, it means it's not against each other. Carnal is your flesh. Carnal is other people in the flesh. You can't be in the flesh. Yeah, but I don't like that person. No, you cannot be in the flesh. Say amen. So we understand, amen, these are things, amen, that God sends out for us. Because, amen, if we, He's going to help us, amen, how is He going to help us from ourselves? He can help us, amen, with financial blessing. He can help you, amen, and with, with your vehicles, with everything in your life. When there is an impossible way for things to get done through your children, through your prayer, you say, man, I'm about to give up. I'm about, man, I'm driving, going crazy, amen, for whatever situation in your life, amen. Don't worry. God's in control. He knows how to protect you. Say amen if you're hearing me. But how is He going to protect you from ourselves? We are the worst enemy. We are the ones that get in God's way. There's insurance for to protect ourselves for everything, amen. But how is He going to protect us from our carnal flesh? Amen. The things that get in our way. Things that, where are the things, amen? The patterns, amen. Because, amen, if you have a pattern of forgiveness, unforgiveness, those are the things, amen, will stop all this work. Amen. You have to repeat the word of God. I love Psalms 27. I love it. It's a part of, of my life, amen. I read it daily, and I read it daily, amen. 
And I said, Lord, let me remember these things. Because let me tell you, if we don't change, there are patterns of sin in your life. You'll go good for one minute and then you'll fall down. You'll go good for one minute and you'll fall down. You are in a pattern. Are you here today? You can be excited tonight. Well, that was a, I hope it's a good sermon. Amen. And go home. Woohoo! And then. Yeah, come on. You lost the victory. I didn't lose it. I put it down. Are you here? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. His name will be called what? Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty in God. Everlasting Father, Prince of what? Peace. Yeah. These are the things, amen, that He is in your life. What is He? He's wonderful. Yeah. How many know Jesus is wonderful? Yeah. He is the anointing, amen. He is yeah. the Messiah, amen. I don't know about the rest yeah. of the world, but I know tonight, amen, He's your Messiah. Can I get an amen? He's your love, amen. Amen. You know, I, I said, my babe, my babe, you know, you know babe, who's, who, Jesus is my love. What do you mean, Jesus first? Yeah, okay. He's the only man I'll back away from. Can I get an amen? amen. Same thing with her. Amen. But she already knows that. Can I get an amen? amen. Men, men always question that. Why do you put Jesus first? Be all jealous about it. Verse 19, Exodus 19, 19 says this. And when you hear the blast of the trumpet and the sound growing louder and louder, Moses speak, amen, and God will answer by his voice. Here's what the Bible says, amen. Oh, you're going to not want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you this. First Corinthians 15, 51. But you will be changed. Oh, there's a little pause in a second there. Are you hearing me? Because why? We think of rapture. This is what we've been taught. But this is the day of atonement. This is the time of jubilee. This is a time of, of, of the days of awe. This is ten days, amen. Because why, amen? This is a time of change, amen. This is teshuva. This is what God is saying. He's speaking into the heart, amen. He's letting you know, amen. In a twinkling in an eye, amen. Something great is about to happen, amen. But I want you to change tonight. Our God wants to put you on a different course tonight. He wants you to understand, amen. His true love, amen. But when you read what the Bible says, amen. The Bible says, to you and I, but he shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, amen, for the last trumpet, the shofar will blast, amen, and the sound of the trumpet, the dead will rise in person, amen. Oh, you people got it twisted, amen. Well, we'll be raptured in the air. No, because tonight is a night of resurrection power. Tonight, amen, you can change, amen. Run up to the altar, oh, Jesus, change me tonight, hallelujah. Oh, you need to hear the sound of the shofar, the voice of God that speaks from the heavens, amen, and what he expects from his church, amen, not just to stand by and hope there's a rapture, there's going to be one one day, amen, but what are you doing today? Today is about change in your life. That's just the first thing. Hello. First thing, voice. Man, you know, when God gives you revelation to these things, Amen. It is an eye opener. It is a change of life. Amen. It's because why? What's the next step, Pastor? Atonement. This is where change needs to start today. Amen. You know, I know people. You know, well, it's really high. It will be changing the time. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for that glorious day. I'll be there in the heavens. We'll be shouting out. You ain't going to be shouting nothing if you don't change your ways. Amen. If you don't teshuva tonight, amen, you want a holy, come and want, oh, put, come on, get some holy ghost tonight. I said, get some holy ghost tonight. This is holy ghost fire. This represents the menorah, the seven churches that God speaks to. This represents, amen, something that we're missing because we know, amen, we don't know about the menorah. We don't understand the menorah. Amen. We just say, oh my gosh, where's the candles? It's not burning. Does it give a light? Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? No, we're not doing those things. These represent the churches. Amen. This is Jesus. Can I get an amen? This is exactly what God wants us to see. Amen. Amen. You know what really blew myself away? Oh my God. I was like, wow. When I begin to study the Jewish customs, you see, you just see this in the menorah. But it, I, I wish I had two. But if you put two together, two together, right? 
It represents the rivers in Genesis chapter 1. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. Cool. Are you here? Amen. And I was like, I saw that. I saw I was blown away. I was like, yeah. who's in here? Who's in here? Yeah. But it, one day, I said, one day, there's going to be one river. And the river that flows, and we, we sing the song, I got a river of life flowing out of yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Holy Ghost. Can I get an amen? Yeah. This is exactly what God wants us to see. So when you hear amen, but I, you, shall, you shall be changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. It's not like this. <laughs> what would it be like to go home and find him in your loved one and say, man, I love you. Scream, yeah, I want to throw rocks at you. Yeah, but I love you. I found Jesus. I'm changed, man. Well, show me the truth. And then give me that chance to change. Give me that, amen. This is what I need, amen. I need the change. I need something different because I don't want to be left behind and I don't want my wife to be left behind. I don't want my church left behind, amen. And a twinkle in the eye, amen. This heart needs to be changed, amen. And this is what God is saying for us to do. Say amen if you listen to me. Oh, number three, number three. We only got a few more minutes. Woo! Hallelujah. The anointing. Uh, what is this? <laughs> it is what? <laughs> it's a prayer shop. <laughs> it is your weapon. Huh? Have this, and you may not have that. Come on. And you may not have that. Okay? Ask yourself, why are you battling? Jesus tells us, amen. But when you pray, go into a room. And your Bible says this, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father in a secret place. Say so amen if you hear me. I can't have this. I can't have this. And this and this separate. I got to put them all into practice. I said, I got to put them all into practice. Amen. Give me two, uh, give uh, uh, ushers, come up here real quick. This is how God sees it. Okay, come here real quick. I think I, should, I illustrated this before. Hold that end up by the end and let the fringes like that. Don't, don't hold it over my head like that. Just, what do you want me to do, Pastor? No, no. What we have right here, amen, exactly, believe it or not, is the tabernacle. I said it's the tabernacle. Okay, let go. <laughs> it's the tabernacle. And the priests would come and they would set the Torah in the Holy of Holies. And they would bring, uh oh, who's that? <laughs> Only Pastor Joe, huh? <laughs> and you have, amen, all representation of a holy place. Amen. And you would, let me see if I could do it, and you would hear this. <laughs> Prayer life. 
How many can say amen tonight? Amen. Numbers 29 and verse 1 says, In the seventh month of the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. A convocation is a dress rehearsal. Right now, tonight, we're in a dress rehearsal. If you were going to stand before God this night, what would you think He's going to ask you? What works can you say you have? What gift can you bring Him? You're going to bring Him a gift. You may think, Amen, well, I have nothing to offer. You have offered yourself. Amen. And maybe you have fallen short of that time and not have the understanding. But this is a holy convocation tonight. We are here standing before the Lord. Amen. amen. And when he tells us, amen, that we need to blow the shofar, this is what we do. Yes. We blow the shofar. When I was gone, what did they do? They blew the shofar. Yeah. Out of obedience. Yeah. Not to Pastor Joe. Unto God. Amen. 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 Psalms 81 says this. Blow the trumpet at the new moon. It was awesome to see them. Who seen the moon the other night? The crescent. No one knows the hour or the time. Woo! There it is. Ah! I was waiting for Joe to go. Phew. And then I got scared after that. I better call my pastor. Are you there? <laughs> As we wait for God to move in our churches today, our, our fight is not against other churches. Mm, that's right. Okay? They may have different opinions and different understanding of what we do and criticize it. Mm. We're not going to criticize them. That's right. People who have left our church to go other places will praise God. Mm. But you're here tonight. Yeah. And we this is the first day that we're going to start a new year. Amen. Let's start off right. Amen. As you come Amen. before God tonight, I hope there is repentance. Amen. Amen. If you come, Amen, pray for your loved ones as we left everything here at this altar tonight. Every prayer request that is here tonight is left at this altar. Amen. I don't know what they say. God knows. Amen. I know what I put down. You know what you put down. Amen. We sounded the shofar. Yeah. We believe in the voice of God. We understand the warfare. We understand now, amen, that God is trying to speak to us in this last hour, in this last day. We're waiting, amen, for God to make a move in our hearts, in our life. We are preparing, amen, for whatever comes our way, and we will be a church that stands on the rock of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? We're going to trust in Him tonight. Amen. And we're going to pray to God. Amen. Maybe you just said, Lord God, I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I pray that tonight. I pray that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray, amen, because they've got some of you, amen, are like, well, I don't understand. You're going to understand it as we go. So they have amen. But this is the hour and the time. And as we come to him tonight, amen, as we make a, a, a bring your prayer offering you to this altar. Whatever you did, I don't care what your past is. Ten minutes ago, an hour ago, days ago. Maybe you have a problem believing in God or Jesus. And maybe you feel, amen, that somebody's wronged you. A pastor, another Christian, whatever the case may be. This is the hour that you can leave that behind. Amen. This is the time, amen. You can ask Jesus. Don't worry about anybody else. You do your job. You come and say, God, forgive me of my sins. And I promise you, he will feel you and love you. Amen. And pour out his abundant love on you. Can I get an amen? So tonight, amen, as we bow our heads, amen, I want to invite you. Come. You come, amen. Maybe we get some soft music playing, amen. We believe in God tonight. Amen. Because I believe this is going to be a year of the Lord. I don't care what the world says. I mean, maybe you're praying for those, amen, your loved ones, amen, who really need prayer. Amen. And you need to come tonight, amen, and leave it at this altar. Amen. If you lose expectation, amen, I encourage you, don't do that. Just hang in there. He is about to answer your prayer. This is a season of God. This is a trust in Him. Father, we just love you tonight. We praise you tonight. 
I pray for those that are right here, right now, Lord God. You, they bring their petitions, Lord God. And we, we sound the shofar. We trust in your power. We pray tonight, Lord God, for your healing. For your anointing. Oh, Lord God, that our family members who are sick, Lord God, at home, Lord God. Right now, we leave it at this altar. We leave it, Lord God, in your hands. And you're a mighty God. This is a year of faith, Lord God. This is a year, Lord God, we're going to step out, Lord God, and celebrate you. Oh, Lord Jesus, we praise you. I pray, Lord God, right now, Lord God, that we find your, our way to you. Oh, la 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 la
this is it. This is what God is speaking into my heart. You know what faith, as the Bible says, is the substance, amen, of things hoped for. All we have is hope. This is the year, amen, that God wants us to trust him more. I feel this in my bone, in my heart, in my life. Amen. We The thing about faith, amen, it seems like things go bad and worse. But it takes that faith to trust in him. In the unseen things, when it seems impossible, when it seems hopeless, when God says, give all that you have unto him and watch me work. When, when you think that there's no way that this could be done, this is the year of faith. This is the year that God is going to tell us to trust him. We're going to step in that. Amen. I said, some of you need to trust that tonight. Can I get an amen? amen? I said, some of you need to trust that tonight. Amen. I'm going to repeat, just have faith. No, no, God's saying, have faith. Yes, amen. God's saying, when it seems impossible, I'm with you. Amen. Give the Lord a clap offering. Amen. amen. Praise God. God is so good tonight, amen. And I believe His Holy Ghost is just moving right now. And yes. I know He's speaking into your life. Yes, Lord. I know God is doing something. And I know that God has a word for you, amen. And that is hope. Yes. Man, don't give up on that hope. Don't give up on anything. You look what's happening around the world, amen. And everything seems like it's messed up. And they're going to pass that law pretty soon, amen, where everybody's going to have to show their COVID. It's Come on. Amen. It's coming. But we're going to put hope. Amen. And we're going to put faith. Amen. When it seems impossible, God hears us. Amen. Don't give up, church. Yes. I said, don't give up. Amen. Give the Lord a clap on for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for being so faithful. All we have is our faith and hope in you. No matter what it is, what adversities, let us be from last year. Let us let it go. I pray, Lord God, tonight, Lord God, that we just step out, Lord God, and believe in you. Let's put our differences aside, Lord God, and the struggles that we may have. And all the accusations and lies that are out there, let them be out there. But let us have faith and belief in you. Lord God, you I have put in our hearts, Lord God, to love you with all our heart and all our mind. And all our soul. Let us practice that love with our neighbors, our loved ones. Let it be a church, Lord God, who puts you first. We thank you, Lord God. I pray tonight, Lord God, as your children walk in with a blessing, let them go home with a blessing. And let us testify, your king is here. In Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless. We'll see you later.